Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review of the QQQs. Boy, the market fell today. Actually fell right out of the gate from the open, bounced at 10 o'clock, and I thought that would hold, but it didn't. Why didn't it hold? Uh, buying didn't come in to hold the market up at that point. So the, there was some, okay, but it was not enough to support the market today, so it continued to fall. And shorts have been coming into this market. That's why you have this series of red days in here. There's some shorts and there's some panic selling going on, but nothing that's happening, not even today, is institutional selling. I know this is hard for people to see the way that I see it, but it's just not. Market is still holding the first support level 10 minutes here before the close on Wednesday, Thursday, no, say Thursday. 10 minutes before the close, the support level in the market, the next support level, the first support level is 99. Market is still holding that, even with the drop off today. So I have no idea what we do tomorrow morning. No clue. Okay. But let's take a look at it. <laughs> so we could have rallied today. We did not. Let's look here. We could have rallied today, but we didn't. So at this point, I feel that we actually, I felt that we were going to hold today. Uh, I felt that even if we had a red body, that we would have a tail today, or that we could flip, actually. But once we broke the low then, whatever time that was, I'll go back and look at it, it wasn't going to happen. And we did come down all day. Now, this, given the way that the shape of the bar looks today, what time did we break it? It was around lunch. We actually could have sold off more. I mean, to be honest with you, I know, I know everyone's like, you know, we could have even sold off more, and we didn't. So there was buying that came in to support the market today, or we would have sold off more. In fact, we would have not only would we have come down to 99, we would have broke it. It's just a question of when the bulls are really going to step right in and carry this market on through again. And it could have been today. It could have been today. It could be tomorrow. It could be the next day. Actually, markets close Monday, Tuesday. So the reality is that sometime soon, I don't know when, the bulls will step in and buy back into this market. And there are shorts that are in here now for the longer term, which is not the right thing to be doing, but there are. There's some selling that's coming in, but I think this was actually more, uh, well, it was a combination today. I shouldn't say that. No, it was a combination day because there was some panic that happened here, followed through in the day, and then when people get up and see that, then they get scared and want to sell. They get scared and want to sell, and that's what happened today. The gap up this morning sold off. So it's a combination of shorts and selling that's happening here in the market, but none of it's institutional selling. But you have the combination of the shorts and some people selling, then you do have the red. You have the red in here. Now, buying did support the market today at the least level resistance, which was 99, and it didn't get anywhere near it. Low of the day was 99.65. We're retesting this now into the close. And again, I don't know where we end up tomorrow morning. I don't know if we gap down, we gap up, we gap neutral. But I do know the market's still strong. I do know the market's going to get bought sometime soon. I don't know when, okay? I will not know until I actually see the gap setting up. Today was not a great bullish gap to buy, okay? I thought today was going to be neutral, either neutral slash bullish or neutral slash bearish, but I thought we would hold better than we have today, meaning I did not think we'd break the low from yesterday. Does that mean we're flying off a planet? No. Does it mean it changes anything here with the look of this for the short term or the long term? The answer is no. No, no, no. So... And really, now that I'm looking at this here, the way that this we broke from yesterday's low and the way we sold off out of the gate, this really should look much more bearish than it does. I know this bar looks bearish today because it's red. I know the high of the day is up there around 101 something and we're down here and we dropped a dollar or more. But the fact is that it still should be have been more today if this was really what I would have set, seen in something to say, something that could be a problem. I don't know if that makes any sense. So given the fact that we traded like this today, there was buying that came in that did support the market somewhat, despite the fact it's red. Otherwise, this would look much, much worse to the downside today. And that's really just it, okay? So even though we're red today, there was buying that came in to support the market today at this level, it's still holding the first level of support. Otherwise, the market would have sold off hard today and continue to sell off hard today and continue to be pushed down because really the way that this shaped itself here this morning and the way it broke could have been so much worse and would have been so much worse if it didn't look the way it did, which is that buying came in to support it. Okay. So, this 
going to look at something here, actually. Boy, it's, this stuff is really great. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to hold. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I see it there. So again, I don't know where, I don't know where we gap tomorrow morning. I don't know if we gap down, we follow through in a gap down tomorrow from the sell off today. I don't know if we, uh, I actually think we might sell off a little bit here tonight in the post market because we're kind of selling off here to the close five minutes for the close. So we could sell off a little bit more here in the pre market, post market tonight. But pre-market tomorrow morning, I that I don't know where we got, up or down or neutral, uh, but we're still going to hold. Okay, so what can I say? You know, I got to just be honest and say what I see. Continue to read everything. Continue to read the gaps. We did gap up this morning and fail in a bullish gap up this morning. That's true, but it wasn't that great of a one. It wasn't that great of a one. It wasn't anything to go long aggressively out of the game. Okay, in fact, let's look at the first couple minutes of the day. I didn't even look at that. First few moments. Yeah, we will sell off post market tonight. Here we're doing it right now. Yeah, that wasn't anything that big of a deal. All right, I just wanted to look at that. I just wanted to say there was something there. There really wasn't anything there today. <laughs> there really wasn't anything there today to indicate that we were going to drop like this. Anyways, it was a bearish day in the market, and you had a lot of things uh, you could have shorted probably. But uh, I have a feeling that the best things were actually strong stocks that kind of fell in with the market where people took profit. And I haven't looked at a lot of the things, the things that I know are strong. But I have a feeling that's how the day shaped up, which, again, you know, how can you possibly short stuff like that? That's not what I do. I didn't trade this afternoon. It wasn't a more. It wasn't an afternoon to trade. I had a great morning. There was no reason to take any of the trades after the first trade I did this morning. I had a great trade, and it worked completely independent of the market, as many times gaps do. So whether you were long or short in something this morning, or whether you shorted the market or everything in the planet today because of the way the market ran, this market is still going to hold. This market is still strong, and I'm just seeing when I looked at the bigger picture, there's something that I hadn't seen before. So it just confirmed what I know. Uh, so I don't know where we gap tomorrow. We could go either way tomorrow, meaning we could drop further, farther, haul to the secondary level of support, break 99, go down to the next level, okay? But, you know, I wouldn't even be surprised. I wouldn't even be surprised uh, if we gap down tomorrow morning and flipped or just gapped up. I mean, this is just a timing factor here where the bulls are going to come back in because they will and they're going to soon. Okay. It is January 15th, early in the year. Markets close Monday. So Friday could have a lot of volatility actually considering the fact that markets close Monday. And I do think there's some econ out. And plus the day we had today. So really nice day in the stocks which show live trading room today. Just hit it and nailed it out of the game. I've just got to continue to do what I do, look at everything exactly the way that I see it. I have an excellent eye for these things, and the market is definitely still higher. Uh, you could not have bought the market today and made any money. I wouldn't have suggested that, but the reality is that uh, the market is still higher. And there are people that are short this market, and they keep getting confirmation that the market, for their perspective, is lower because of the series of lower highs and lower lows and the red days in here. But again, you have to understand how to read this. And the fact is, even though the market was red today, and I know this, this you, if you don't understand, if you don't know what I know, you don't understand this. But just listen to what I'm saying. The market supported itself today. 
There was buying that came in that supported the market today against the selling action and the shorting. Otherwise, it would not look like this. It would look far worse. It would have come down harder, broke 99 and probably gone to 98 or beyond. So there was buying that came in here today. And I see it. I see it because I know how to reprice action. Otherwise, you look at this today and you say we're falling off a planet, but we're not. This is not falling off a planet, not even close. Okay? So there was buying that came in to support the market today. It's there. It's in there, and I see it. All right? Have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. This is the QQQ market review of the stock swoosh. There is a gap class uh, that I'm planning for the end of the month, January 24th and 25th, if you want to learn how to trade gaps and get the calls like I made in the room today. Outstanding room today. I just rocked it. Okay, really, really, really on my game. January earnings season hits here. Everything, the volatility, all the discourse I've had about how 2015 is going to be a great year to trade. Here you have it. Here you have it. Great example today, not just in the market, but the stock that I traded. And it's off to a running start. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. If you'd like to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.